In today's video, I am AFK in single player. What the hell? In this video, for the last ever time, I'm going to be showing you the brand new Badline client, which released yesterday, featuring a ton of improvements like FPS, brand new mod, whole new resource pack layout, and a ton of new changes. But before we get into this video, I want to let you know, I'm going to be giving away two of my brand new such speed animated Lunar Client capes. And all you guys have to do to enter is simply like this video, comment your IGN down below. You must be subscribed and you must follow me on Instagram. Oh, and make sure to join my Discord server because the link is on the screen right now for anyone who wants to join. And let's see if this brand new Badline client is worth downloading. fair to say this has been a very interesting year for minecraft client i mean i started this year off as a badline client partner and i'm ending this year as a lunar client partner that's not to say badline client sucks even though that's what a lot of people think badline have made some serious improvements to their client over the last year and yesterday they finally released the brand new 3.0 so as you can see on the screen right now they boast a lot of improvements within this new update which we're about to try out now i'm excited because this is the huge update that every Everyone has been talking about over the last couple of months and I think it's the update that will finally bring Badline onto some level that Lunar Client is on so let's get into it. So as you can see amongst the improvement list FPS improvements is the main significant thing sticking out to me and I really want to see if this client is truly an FPS boost or if it's not. Now as some of you may have seen on social media there is a big meme amongst the Badline client you can actually change the theme of the client however you can change it to some very horrible designs as you're about to witness. So they have set themes you can choose from and um, I'm just going to put meme in because most of these are a meme. I mean, you can literally see how much... Wait, oh, I can't wait. I need... Oh, oh there we go. This is the Halloween theme. So uh, I don't know who designs Badline Client, but I really want to ask them a question. This looks like it was created in Microsoft Paint. Like, look at how basic the colors are. I am so confused as to why they have incorporated this design because this does not look clean. This looks like it was created from someone who's still in high school and doesn't really know much about designs. I don't really understand the simplicity. I get that it's Minecraft, but I just feel like they could have gone for a little bit of a better design, but that's just my own opinion. Anyway, let's get into the client in game. Okay, so a little tip for all of you so the Badline client layout doesn't hurt your brain. When you open up the Badline client, go into the right shift settings and then go over to graphics and then go to menus. Now, when you go into menus, you wanna go to mod menu position and you're gonna wanna center this menu. Now, this makes it exactly like the Lunar Client. So when you open it up, it just opens up on the center. It looks way better than on the side here. I don't even know why this is still an option. But as you can see, when you right shift, this brings up the brand new menu. So I must admit, Badline have made a huge improvement by actually adding this center menu. And as you can see, you can actually go through mods based on the game modes. So they have Bed Wars, they have Factions, UHC, and so forth. Now, a lot of you probably wonder, Tom, why do you never use any mods? I mean, compared to when I used to play, I really don't use many mods and that's just my personal preference. I'm not the kind of guy that needs to enable every single mod like some of these players. I prefer to keep it rather simple and quite frankly I don't really use Badline Client too much. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually enable some of the newer mods just to try them out like Inventory Blur for example. I actually really think this looks clean. As you can see kind of adds a nice blur to the background so whenever you're in your inventory or anything it's a pretty nice thing to have. Now moving down I believe they've added a few new mods like Weather Changer for example. I don't believe I've seen this before and I might even try and enable this. Now this is something interesting I've never seen before but there's something called quick play. So you can join Hypixel specific game modes fast from using this mod. I'm not going to enable it but it seems pretty cool. As you guys know it can take a long time to connect to Hypixel especially when it's lagging and this is a mod that I have been waiting for forever because as you guys know if you're using Minecraft 1.16 or 1.8 sometimes the texture packs can break and this is a great mod. If you have have, for example items that are transparent and I don't know about you guys but I run into this issue all the time where some textures don't work because of the version I'm using so this mod is actually really useful now aside from mods as you guys know there is a purchasable section on the badline client called insider I'm gonna stay away from this because I've used an insider account before I personally don't think it's worth purchasing and it's only really for dedicated players I would assume because it doesn't really hold many benefits now as you can see aside from the mod menu you have 
have this nice little section that I've shown off before that you may have seen before. However, they have made some drastic improvements in the whole section here. So as you can see, they have graphics like normal. You guys can change this around to get some better. You guys can change your render options around and they really supply you with the option of customization, which I really have to respect. Now, moving forward, this is probably the second most important section to take note. The better frame section is essentially what you should use to even get better FPS. So as you can see, they even have a little FPS boost icon here. So as you can see, I'm currently representing a nice 200 to 300 FPS in the lobby. If I turn this off, does it drastically go down? I mean, as you can see, it dropped slightly, although I wouldn't really say it's that much of a difference, probably around 70 FPS if I had to guess, between 70 to 80 FPS. Now I must admit, the FPS boost definitely makes the difference because when I enable it, as you can see, it goes straight back up, which is a pretty good thing to know. They also have the option for low graphics mode. I'm assuming this just changed all of your graphics to the lowest setting possible. But moving down here, you obviously have the friend section, chat, which I don't really like messing with. I hate it when clients purposely change the way the chat looks. I think some things in Minecraft, like chat, for example, should stay pretty natural. I just think it looks way better. But anyway, that's enough of me boasting about this client. Let's really try this thing out in game. So we're starting things off here in UHC Deathmatch and already I can notice a pretty significant FPS increase. I mean, I'm currently representing like four to 500 FPS and while I'm recording on action, keep in mind, I mean, action is not an easy program to record with. It's kind of intensive and wow, this guy really just stayed AFK, huh? I just realized that completely and I am really loving the blurred menu when you go in your inventory or anything. And another thing I wanted to mention is I'm still nicked as Spood in caps for some weird reason and oh my God, God, this cape is such a throwback. If, if any of you still actively wear this cape, let me know in the comments section below. I really hope you don't. This is like the ugliest design I've ever got. And uh, it is my OG one. I probably shouldn't be saying that, but I'm so much more of a fan of my Lunar Capes than of my Badline ones. I don't know. I just think that's the way with all of the Badline cosmetics. I just don't really like the HD kind of style that they have going on. I just really think that the, uh, the Lunar Client cosmetics are so much better. But that just might be my very biased opinion on the matter. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna eat another head because we have so many. Um, but this guy is uh, also chugging heads and let's get this guy. All right, dude, honestly, this client is very smooth. I haven't really had any kind of FPS like issues so far. Like so far, it's been a pretty smooth experience. I haven't really lagged at any stage whatsoever, which is something I would normally find when I'm playing a game mode like UHC Deathmatch where there's quite a lot going on all at once. Now I must admit, whenever I go into F5, it's almost like the whole world re-renders. Re As you can kind of notice, whenever I just go, go through F5, it's almost Almost like it's completely re-rendering the world and I just realized this may be the fastest UHC deathmatch I've ever played but we're up against Sing Gong Hu Hui Ye. I think it's fair to say this guy could be on Hypixel China right now or Hypixel Asia. I'm not really too sure but we're gonna go up against him. Hopefully he's uh, not too unbelievable at the game getting like 90 CPS or something that would be terrifying. Now I'm sure some of you heard in the intro that I said that this is my final video using the Badline client and I'm gonna live up to that. I really don't plan on making any other videos on this client in the future. You know, unless Badline for some reason creates some crazy VR client experience, which don't get me wrong, in a couple of years, imagine we all start seeing everyone using Minecraft clients, but on VR or using some 4D experience in Minecraft. I can just see it happening with the way technology is expanding, but maybe that's just my crazy mind going off there. But where has this guy gone? Okay, he's gone all the way over here. I really didn't, I did not expect that. I thought he just stayed in his own area. All right, I'm going back for this guy. Come on, man, let's have a fight. I have 18 gapples. This is, this is way too much. All right. You know what? Let's actually try and kill this guy. All right. Let's actually, let's actually try hard here because he's also repping an Optifine cape. Like who still wears an Optifine cape, dude? I don't even think I have an Optifine cape anymore because when you get a Minecon cape, it kind of cancels out your Optifine cape. In fact, I don't even remember the design of my Optifine cape, but they are such a throwback. I wonder how many Optifine capes have been purchased overall. Do you reckon there's a place to actually check that? Because I'd be curious to find out. I mean, there's, that is definitely the most popular cape in Minecraft. And oh, I'm not going to lie. I just got the first FPS lag spike this whole video and it came up possibly the worst time possible, but this man is just simply running away. I think it's time to use some uh, lava against him, to be honest with you. I think this may be the fastest way to kill a guy like this, but anyway, let's just kill this guy. I mean, I don't really know what he's doing. He's also a laggy player. There is a very high chance that this is a Hypixel Asian player. Um, to be honest with you, they're all pretty insane at Minecraft too, so it kind of makes sense. I mean, this guy isn't bad. Um, 
I'm not gonna lie though, I am nowhere near as good as I used to be at PvP. Like, I used to be pretty average player, if you guys remember, but these days, I am just not the same player at Minecraft, which kind of sucks. I also wish that when I used to sweat Minecraft, that I really started sweating playing Hypixel rather than 1.7 servers, because I think I speak for a lot of 1.7 original players that it's been pretty difficult having to just switch and like get used to 1.8 being like the main version that people play on. And this guy is so laggy, dude. I need to kind of like time my hits really okay he just left the game i mean gg -G -G. I, I don't why do players always leave in uac deathmatch man i really wanted to get a pretty nice win against that guy but it looks like we just picked up a win either way and we had 64 percent melee accuracy i wonder if there's anyone who gets 100 percent without hacking okay so we're finally trying this client out in sky wars and i must admit i'm pretty disappointed that badline didn't include their own section for sky wars mod i mean i can understand that bed wars factions and uac are more important than sky wars but i do think sky wars is somewhat important and it would be pretty cool to see a section for mods specifically for sky wars i mean i can see at least five of them being very useful and anyway we're gonna jump straight into this right now so uh, we're in the middle here uh, and i might even just go in for this guy honestly Yo, what's up man he seems like he's killing everyone all right dude i hate i i personally hate it when players do this to me but all right he's got a little bandana on i don't know whose bandana he's wearing there but uh we're just gonna go over here and actually kill this guy okay no 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 no. you're dead all right there we go we got him and uh yo what's up man all right i think we hit him off the edge all right, I'm going back. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Okay, what the hell? This guy is... Okay, yeah, bye, <laughs> goodbye. I was about to call him out for hacks, but we just got the luckiest hit in the world. We might even have time for another game of that, believe it or not. Now, if I'm being honest with you, it feels pretty nice to use this client in Sky Wars. As I said, I think it would be nice if they had a group of mods specifically for Sky Wars, but nevertheless, I get some pretty good FPS. I mean, I'm getting between five to 600, and considering you need to chuck coal into my PC to start this thing up, I would say that's a pretty good number to get. And uh, all right, I actually really like this map. Although it is kind of hard to play on. I mean, you have people getting at you for every angle on this map, believe it or not. And all right, this guy's on the badline client. Hello. And uh, this guy is dead on the badline client. I don't think he's actually on the badline client. My bad. All right, he just fell off the edge. He just had enough of the game. He did not want any part of this. Um, we're just going to go up here. Actually, he gave us a nice little thing to end up onto here, which is pretty cool. And there you go. All right. Oh my God. That was possibly the fastest win of mankind. But we're going to end today's video off on that specific win right there. Well, badline client, it's been real. We've had many memories used using this client over the years, but I think it's time for me to finally stop making any Badland client related videos. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you guys did, please be sure to leave a like. I'll go ahead, leave Badline client down below. If you want to go ahead and download, feel free to try this thing out. They dropped their brand new update yesterday, including all of the things you've seen in this video. I really do think they've made a much better client. However, I do think the design still needs some improvement, but in terms of FPS, it may be now on the level of Luna and some other clients. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video and goodbye.